morning, Saxons. Today is Tuesday, April 25th. Happy Freedom Day for Portugal and Independence Day for Israel. Diving into general news. ASB elections are coming up. This week in advisory, 9th through 11th graders will vote to advance two candidates for president and two for public relations. Final elections will be held in advisory next week. Reporter Ari Smith talked to students about what they think it takes to become a professional musician. Being a professional musician takes a lot of commitment. It takes a lot of time and practice that you got to sink into it with your ensemble and your instrument because you got to know your instrument really well and, and you got to know the people you're playing with really well too. And I think the most important part of being a professional musician is your bond with the other members of the band. What it takes to be a professional is just a lot of practice, I feel. Uh, there's also a lot of work that other people do that just makes them sound amazing. Well, I'm definitely not a professional, but I do like to play drums. And I say what it takes is very hard work. There are some people here in this band program who I know who practice at least an hour a day, like at least. Sometimes you have to throw things and that's okay. Just make sure you get it out of your system. It takes, what it takes to become like a professional musician is um, hard work, dedication, and just, if you just really enjoy playing your instrument, like the violin or trumpet, it's gonna be something you wanna pursue in life instead of being like a lawyer or a businessman because that's not your actual calling. Your calling is the music. To be a professional musician, you obviously have to have the instrument um, or to just sing, I don't know. And then you have to have dedication and hard work so, and to practice the music. Thanks, Ari. I love that we get to explore so many career possibilities at Ferris. Aren't you interested in film? Yes. And actually, I have an idea for a really cool film. Oh, really? What is it? Well, get this, it's a music video about a mouse rapping, oh, and it gets better, a duck comes in and starts singing about grapes. That's, that's an idea. See, I just, I don't know, I just, I don't have any place to really show off my talent. Talent is questionable, but you can showcase your video idea at the Ferris Film Festival on May 17th. Entries due May 1st and send them to Miss Harold by email. Categories include comedy and dramatic film, music video, documentary, news package, ads and PSAs, and short artistic films slash animations. Keep it under five minutes and don't be late. Awesome! Man, I'm really excited for a cool idea that I have. April is recognized as Autism Awareness Month. Reporter Brayden Folsom checked in with Mr. Odell and Signora Gower to get their opinions on the significance and importance of History and Heritage Months. I think History and Heritage Months are lovely because they help bring focus to um, the deep roots of why things are the way they are in present day. And they also call upon us to put down our list of chores and our list of tasks and just really be human with each other and um, to understand how um, we are all impacted in different ways by what has happened, what is happening, and what we hope will happen. And I think those dialogues are um, essential to creating a better community and to developing um, intergenerati intergenerational understandings and um, empathy between all humans. Yeah, it's an interesting question. Um, some people you know, like them, and some people have said, well, every, we should be learning about all these different things all the time, and that's true. Uh, but I, I like them because they raise awareness of historical contributions of groups of people um, that historically have been uh, left out, um, not mentioned, not, you know, or maybe even suppressed the, the knowledge of their contributions to our country and to history in general. And so I think it's kind of cool when you think about um, you know, African American history, Native history, um, uh, Women's History Month, uh, even disability awareness. I mean, you just start to learn and start to gaze new awareness. You know, uh, and and there's there's way more than that. But just to to raise awareness of the contributions of people in our nation's history. Remember to go see the Odd Couple this week. The women's cast is showing Thursday, April 27th, 7 to 9 p.m., and the men's cast is Wednesday and Friday, April 26th and 28th, 7 to 9 p.m.
Functions so well in the background, reporter Brayden Folsom talked to Miss Maloney and Miss Prizman to find out a little more about what they do each day. Every day here at school, we see the people working to make Ferris better, but what about the people behind their desks we don't think of as much, but we see every day? Let's hear who they are. I am an attendance secretary, so checking kids in and out all day. Well, I've been in the public office for this my second school year, and normally I work the attendance. I answer the door, write student passes. I also work and coordinate uh, volunteers that are in our building, as we're kind of just juggling jobs here in the um, public office. So a little bit of everything. Well, I am a Canadian first and foremost, born and raised, and I've lived here in the U.S. now for almost 19 years. Um, I'm a mother of two. My son's graduating Ferris this year. I do things like travel. I'm a huge reader. Love to read. Um, just spend time at home listening to music and hanging out with my family. And um, that's kind of me in a nutshell. What's my favorite part of my job? That's a tough question because there's so many good things. Uh, the student body is amazing. I love seeing the students every day and getting to know them and their names. And the staff is a minute. So amazing. I subbed here years ago and that's kind of how I first got introduced to Ferris and that was kind of my goal was to always be able to come back and work here permanently and I'm so lucky that I, I was able to get that job. This week, let's take some time to appreciate the office ladies for their hard work and effort. Good luck to all band, orchestra, and choir kids who are off to state this week. Ferris wishes you the best of luck. For clubs this week, today BSU meets in room M105 during both lunches. And Native American Beating Club meets from 2.30 to 3.30 in room M104. Wednesday, Ferris for Christ will be in M114. Beyblade Club will be in M405. Great Frank Club will be in M201. Environmental Club will be in L201. And Math Club will be in M116. On Thursday, Computer Science Club is meeting in M510. Art Club in M502. Pokemon Club meets after school. And Chess Club is with Miss Brown in room M203. And on Monday, Engineering Club will be in M510, Lego Club meets in the band room, M413, and Pickleball Club will be in the Ox Gym after school till 4 o'clock. And don't forget, Homework Center in the library, Monday through Thursday, 2.35 to 4 p.m. Heading into sports news, don't miss your chance to be part of the Ferris Dance Team. Tryouts begin May 1st with a tryout information meeting tomorrow on Wednesday, April 26th in the Commons at 5.30 p.m. Pick up your packets in the main or business office today. No dance experience is needed. Everyone is welcome. It's game day, Saxons. Today, varsity softball versus NC at Ferris from 4 to 6 p.m. C team softball at Mount Spokane from 4 to 6 p.m. C girls tennis versus Mead at Comstock 315 to 5 p.m. Baseball versus Cheney at varsity is at Ferris and junior varsity at Cheney from 4 to 6 p.m. Tomorrow. Tennis versus me, boys are at Ferris and girls at me, 3.30 to 6 p.m. Baseball versus CV at Ferris, 4 to 6 p.m. Soccer versus NC, varsity is at Merkel and junior varsity at Ferris, 4 to 6 p.m. Girls tennis versus Mount Spokane at Comstock, 3 to 5 p.m. On Thursday, softball versus Mount Spokane, varsity at Mount Spokane, junior varsity at Ferris, 4 to 6 p.m. Baseball versus Cheney, varsity at Cheney, junior varsity at Ferris, 4 to 6 p.m. 
C Girls Tennis vs. Shadle at Comstock 3 to 5 p.m. C Soccer vs. Ridgeline at Ferris 5 to 7 p.m. Track and Field meet at Ridgeline at 3 to 7 p.m. For Friday, Junior Varsity Soccer at University 4 to 6 p.m. Softball vs. CV Varsity at Ferris and Junior Varsity at CV 4 to 6 p.m. And Baseball vs. Mead, Junior Varsity at Ferris and Varsity at Mead also 4 to 6 p.m. Varsity Soccer vs. University at Ferris, 5 to 7 p.m. Finally, for Monday, Baseball vs. Cheney at the Crunks Field at 4 to 6 p.m. Moving on to senior news, you know what we have to say. Prom this week! Senior prom will be hosted at Riverside Place from 8 to 10.30 p.m. Here's reporter Will White with the answer to Cameron's proposal. Previously on Finn. Hey Felicity, um... It's going to be very fun, right? But the best way it's going to be fun is if Luba says yes to prom. Luba, will you go to prom with me? <laughs> uh, uh, sure. Yeah! Bye, Saxons. And thanks for watching, Finn.